Hey guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the figure of eight stick handling drill. This is an incredibly effective drill to practice as it helps you develop multiple areas of stick handling with just one drill. One of the first areas that I want to take a look at of this drill is keeping a loose bottom hand while you're practicing this drill. And also, what that allows you to do is slide your hand up and down the shaft of your stick, reaching out for pucks that are far away from you. By keeping both of your hands on the stick, it allows you to have full control over the stick. The next part we're going to take a look at is fully extending your arms side to side as you said to reach out for pucks that are far away from you depending on how far you space these two um, pucks that are on the shooting pad we'll decide how far you need to stretch out while you're reaching for the pucks but we'll come to that in a moment the next part also is just general hand-eye coordination as you're going to be navigating around these two pucks over here and one of the other things that this drill helps you do is practice using multiple areas of the stick's blade we're going to be using the heel of the blade mid portion the toe and also the back portion of the blade. So this is an incredibly effective drill as you're practicing multiple areas of your stick handling with just one drill. So when it comes to stick handling drills, this is probably one of my favorite as it requires minimal equipment for those of the viewers that are practicing this drill at home. If you don't have a shooting pad, all you need is a very smooth surface, two objects to navigate around, preferably two pucks, and a golf ball. The reason that I like to use a golf ball during this drill is that it's very difficult to control similar to a puck on the ice, so if you practice with a golf ball, when you get on the ice and you're practicing with a puck, it'll be much easier to control. If you can control one of these on the ground, you'll be fine controlling a puck on the ice. That's the reason that we're using one of these as opposed to a standard puck or one of the green biscuit pucks. This is a lot better to use for drills. So some of you might notice that I have a piece of cardboard around the shaft of my stick. What I do is just get a bit of cardboard, wrap it with some grip tape, put that on the shaft of my stick. That just allows me to um, keep a loose bottom hand, it helps me exaggerate to keep my bottom hand loose, reminding me that I shouldn't be squeezing it too tightly, and even if I am, it still doesn't restrict the movement of my hand being able to move up and down the shaft. This has always worked for me, you might have seen me use this in the um, how to do a toe drag video. I do recommend using this if you have a hard time remembering to keep a loose bottom hand, it's always helped me and it might work for you. So this is the figure of eight drill. It's called the figure of eight because you're maneuvering the golf ball around the two pucks in the shape of a number eight. The points I'd like you to take a look at while I'm rolling this clip are my top hand and my bottom hand. When the golf ball is furthest away from my body, you'll notice that my top hand and my bottom hand are close together. And when the golf ball is closest to my body, you'll notice that my hands are separated and apart. This is why it's important to keep a loose bottom hand so you can allow your shaft of your stick to slide through your hand as you push and pull it away from your body depending on where the golf ball is. So the key points and features I'd like us to take a look at when we're practicing this drill are keeping a loose bottom hand as we said earlier on in the video. We're also going to be working on your ability to pull the puck diagonally across your body to increase the amount of area that you can move the puck around your body while you're stick handling. And also the further or wider apart you put the pucks that you're navigating the golf ball around, the harder the exercise becomes. It's important to mention that a cupped stick blade is essential when practicing this drill and you also need to remember to use the heel and toe of the blade for proper technique. stick handling drill that brings us to the end of this one we're going to have one new drill out for you every week during the summer break so remember to subscribe to our youtube channel and register on hockeytutorial.com get talking on our forum page and request videos if there's anything that you'd like to see remember to practice this drill guys and stay tuned for more take care guys